um, actually are now shifting to another thing for food, which is going to be with the kids inside Walter Wilson High School here in D.C. for the Eat More Salad program that I talked about earlier. And you're going to see how they're going to create some great dishes for themselves with better choices, healthier choices that the school is implementing. Here we go. Hi, this is Sherilyn Tompkins, and I'm here for Healthy Food Happy You TV, as well as my blog, Fabianola.com. And we are here at Wilson High School in the heart of D.C. for a very special occasion. It is Eat More Salad Week, helping kids promote a healthier start within their, their nutritional uh, realm. And not just at home, um, as they should get it, but also it has to be implemented at school. So we're here with the Director of Food and Nutrition Services at Wilson High School. And for the D.C. actually public schools, this is Jeff Mills. Hi. 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 Thanks for uh, having me on your show. It's Thanks. great to have you here today. Thanks. And I am volunteering to eat more salad. I'm going to be helping the kids um, in a while. And actually, it's we got about how many kids back there? Uh, well, there's 1,700 kids here in total. 1,700 kids. So they're all out there. So we come to the back to the kitchen where the heart of the matter starts. And so um, we're going to go back out there. And you're going to see a little bit of that later. But we wanted to talk about this great program that you're doing. And I hear actually there's the Eat More Salad and there was a Let's Move initiative, but you guys have actually superseded that. You've gone beyond what was being regulated by the government to provide more services for them. That's correct. Uh, so last year, uh, so I started about a year and a half ago. Last year was my first full year here, and we did a, a cr complete revamp of the menus. Right. Uh, traditionally, school food had been uh, prepackaged, frozen. Highly processed. Highly processed, and it was basically a, a cut it open, cut in the bag, heat yeah. and serve. So we, we've uh, went back to old school ways of preparing food, yeah. and we are cooking basically from scratch in all our kitchens. Wonderful. So no longer serving pizza every day. So we have the largest supper program in the country. Really? We serve 10,000 suppers a day. Mm -hmm. So a lot of our students actually eat three meals a day in school. I so what you, you know, start off the program with and talking about how it's important for students to eat in school as well as at home healthy, mm -hmm. very important here. Um, so, because some kids are here throughout a whole entire day because they have other activities going on after school. That's correct. And so, you know, they need to have that nutrition throughout the, the entire day. So that's a great thing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, to start off the school, breakfast at school, breakfast is free for everyone. Uh, oh my gosh. It wasn't free when I was here. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, we have a great new uh, uh, we have breakfast tacos this year, which we introduced for the first time. I actually made a trip out to Colorado where Chipotle, yeah. uh, there's a, a cookery that does all Chipotle sauces. So okay. we're using one of the Chipotle sauces on our breakfast tacos this year, which is great. So you paired Highly with them. That's great. Uh, yeah. uh, lunch, obviously, we're yes. serving, traditionally yes. lunch. And then, like I said before, supper. Uh, so... So it just carries them into the day. So Throughout the day. Yeah. yeah, it's important because if you have lunch at 12 o'clock, you're in an after school program at 4. Right. How are you supposed to sustain yourself until 6 o'clock, which is why we have supper around 3.30. And you want to catch them before they go to the vending machines, before they go into those packaged foods again. You want to be able to catch them and give them... What vending machine? Exactly. <laughs> taking vending machines out right. of the schools. And mm -hmm. that I think that's one of the bigger things that we advocate is making sure that there are those choices. You can't educate or give awareness if you're also not then providing those choices to them in, oh, a, in an easy access mm -hmm. way. They'll, mm -hmm. they'll get to the first line right. for, you know, first, which is you all. Right. And I think it's also important that not only do we give them those healthier choices, right. but we really spend the time like we did making sure that the procurement piece is done the correct way. Meaning we don't just check a box and say, yes, I want to order lettuce. Right. We took trips to farms. We see how the farmers actually grow their lettuce. Right. We taste it on the farm. We go through the transportation of the, the actual product. So we know, okay, it's going to take a day 
to have this lettuce transport from this farm to our schools. We can right. serve it the next day. That makes a huge difference. Those food miles and that freshness is, does make a big difference. Absolutely. So. so if we're introducing new foods to students, we want to be 100% sure that the quality is the best it can possibly be. Because, you know, you never get a second chance to make a first impression. That's absolutely true. So. And uh, as a big sushi eater, I, I couldn't imagine if I had sea urchin for the first time and it tasted bad. I probably would never go back. Right. So it's really important to make that good first impression. Well, and, and for me, I'm vegan, okay. and the TV show is a vegan TV show, and we saw that, especially for the salad bar, mm -hmm. the, the kids have great choices mm -hmm. um, that are fresh, and not just a piece of lettuce, but it's great you know, to have lettuce, but I also saw one girl loading up her, her uh, tray with avocado. Right. You know, and so we were like, wow, wait, um, I'd like to load yeah. up on that too. Right. Very good choices. And right. so, you know, she's getting that goodness within her. The kids, you have a longer salad bar than I think what was saying was regulated right. initially as well. Mm -hmm. So, we the, actually, yeah, sorry, we custom yeah, no. made these salad bars. So they're actually about, I'd say, three times the size of what was. Uh, I don't want to say regulate, but was being given out and donated. Right. Because we knew that, especially in the high schools, we want to have as many choices as we possibly could for students. Yes. And high schools tend to have bigger cafeterias, longer lunch lines. We want to have an opportunity for students to be able to access food faster. So if any student was put off by waiting in a line that may be a little bit longer, hopefully by adding two lines at a salad bar, with as long as the lines are, as long as the salad bar is, students are more apt to have lunch. Right, and they're going to get heirloom tomatoes I saw were on the menu today, yeah. and garbanzo beans, and muscalin greens. Now you also mentioned something special that you won an award, and it's yes. the carrot, the, the golden, golden carrot, award carrot award last so. year, yes, for best school menus in the country. So. And that's throughout the entire country, not just in the region. So, you know, follow what D.C. public schools are doing. They are doing so much. I'm, we were just outside. You're going to see it in a little while. It's a little crazy out there because it's lunchtime. But um, everybody was coming at us to get at the salad bar, and I think that's a great thing. And that means that you're doing something right. And that's what we want to hear with what's going on in school. So I commend you for Thank what you're you doing. Much. Thank you. Thank you. Well, what we say, healthy bodies, healthy minds. You know, it's important to actually fuel the students throughout the day. So, you know, they're here to learn. We want them to be able to learn, so right. we're equipping them. Equipping them for greatness, yes. for their futures. Yeah. And so we're going to give you the D.C. Public um, Schools, actually the website, it's a long one, so we're going to run it along uh, the, the on the screen, and you're going to be able to find out more information about the, pro the program, but also how you can get involved. Hopefully there will be more volunteer days Absolutely. if you'd like to volunteer to come help out in your school because you should get in, involved and engaged with what's going on with the school system. So I thank Jeff Mills thank for you. joining us and mm -hmm. thank you for having us. So um, we're excited about what's going on out here right. and I know that the kids are too. We are too. Thanks, thanks for coming. Absolutely. Thanks for volunteering. I'm, yeah, you'll see me out there. <laughs> so thanks again. Okay. All right, and this is Sherilyn Tompkins for Healthy Food Happy You TV as well as Fabianola.com and we'll see you soon. Always remember to be well and live well. Peace. Eat more greens. Yes. More salad. <laughs> Hi, this is Sherilyn Tompkins, and we're back with you for Healthy Food Happy You TV. And we're here at the end of the, the school and lunch program uh, for Eat More Salad uh, Week for the volunteer. And as you see, the kids have almost cleared this whole place out. So I'm getting a little few bits that you see of the great abundance of veggies that they had. Um, you know, we talked with Jeff Mills earlier, and he was telling us about how they really implemented the fact that this is going to have more choices. And I really, truly appreciate that. We've got great things like the spinach is cleared out, but we have romaine. We've got kale here, as you can see. We've got some peppers. Avocado is almost nearly cleared out. Um, but they did truly have um, a great, great choices um, and great chance to really get healthier choices into their system and that's been the important part of our day. Well we hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this episode of Healthy Food Happy You TV and it gives you a chance to get more involved in what's going on in your community and around town. And for more details and more interviews that are actually coming up further and further along the line in between the shows and episodes, go to healthyfoodhappyyou.com and you can also go to my blog and newsletter fabinola.com for more details. And you can also find us on Facebook and be sure to click like on us. Once again, my name is Sherilyn Tompkins here for you for Healthy Food Happy You TV as well as fabinola.com. And always remember to be and live well.